Now, everybody knows they should get a colonoscopy to check their colon. But you come up with this term called a cognoscopy, which I love, which is essentially how do you do a deep dive into your brain and all the things that affect your brain that cause risk of cognitive issues? And by the way, all the things that you measure with a cognoscopy are all the things we measure for any chronic illness to look at. And some are more prevalent in different illnesses. But with Alzheimer's, you've really come up with a model of a cognoscopy. So can you talk about what is a cognoscopy? What should we be looking for? How do we get it? Can we get it with a regular doctor? Or is this something that you really need specialized care for? Yeah, yeah it's a great point. And people have told me, don't use that term cognoscopy. It sounds so I horrible. Love it. I but love it's simple. It. It's easy to remember. It. And we all know we should get a colonoscopy when we turn 50. So we recommend everybody 45 or over get a cognoscopy. And as you said, it, it is things related to chronic illness. But the key is to prioritize. I mean, that's the key. The people who are getting the best results, as you know, are the ones who are prioritizing the things that are the most important drivers. It's different for each person. For some person, you know, it's going to be getting at that Borrelia. For the other person, it's going to be getting at that mycotoxin. And, and uh, another person, it's going to be the glycotoxicity. So today it's very simple to get so a one might be mold, one might be mold. lime, one might be sugar, right? Sugar, what, one sugar, might be yeah. mercury, might be mercury, what, right? And might be vascular. A common one is people just don't have the vascular support for their brain. And this is why they are downsizing. And so if we return that support, we return the oxygenation and the blood flow, they do better. So the way you can get a cognoscopy, it, it is three things. It is, number one, a set of blood and urine tests, easy to do. Uh, number two, uh, it is a simple online cognitive assessment. And if you're completely asymptomatic and doing great and you're just in for prevention, you can stop there, just those two things. If you have any symptoms or you're not scoring well on the cognitive tests, you want to include number three, which is an MRI with volumetrics. You want to know the volume of your hippocampus. You want to know the volumes of your frontal lobes and your parietal lobes and things like that. And hippocampus so, is that little memory center in the brain tends to shrink right